Hello friends and welcome back to another photo card sorting video. Um, it feels like it's been a while but I feel like it also hasn't actually been that long in reality. I have quite a few photo cards here. Um, I still haven't beaten my record before of 155. Um, I think this is around 90. Um, and basically the majority of this is 80s. And then I have a little dream catcher in the back. But yeah, this is basically all of my 80s world movement photo cards. So yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> well, let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to start with dream catcher. So pretty much I just have some merch photo cards for them so i bought their pink monster merch set and it came with two full group sets of photo cards which is awesome because i didn't realize it came with two full sets so i'm going to put those away those are going to go in my back section where all my other merch cards are right here so let me I I really wanted to get both merch sets. What was the other one? Like red uh, um not red velvet. Was it something with, or something with a kiss? I can't remember. It was like the darker version, like the the pink monster version was this really bright neon color um and then there was like a dark red color and i really wanted both <laughs> but i had to cut back i couldn't be spending that much so i only got the pink monster version i love the branding the design of it the, the branding of it it's so cool and i'm very happy that it came with two full sets of photo cards which i did not realize it would and also their styling is just so fun. It's so fun. The t-shirt is so nice. They look so good. I also bought one of their photo books. I also came out with photo books again. And once again, they're doing two versions. So last year I only bought the like Haunted Mansion version, I forget what it was really called, and again this year I only bought one of the versions. Uh, I think it was the Love Catcher version, I don't remember. It was like Love Stealer, or no, was it Love Stealer? Yeah, it was Love Stealer and Love Catcher, so I only bought one version. Um, yeah, so then let me get out my fillers, which are in the bottom here. So got back from vacation yesterday and I was so excited to film this because I had gotten a lot of stuff in the mail too. So I like opened up everything and I got all my photo cards I needed I, that I was waiting on and now everything is ready and complete to be put away and I'm very excited. So yes, this was the dream catcher cards that I had to put away. I love these sets, they're so cute and they look so good. So let's move on to 80s. All right, to no one's surprise, the majority of the photo cards I have to put away are 80s cards, woo! Okay, so this is gonna look a little different. Um, these cards are from the Catties uh, dolls, fan-made dolls um, that I got. So I changed around the opening page a little bit because I want to feature them because they're really cute. And this is going to become something 
something in the future to look forward to. I'm not going to spoil it yet about what I'm doing and this will be explained. Can't give anything away, but I'm sure some people could guess. <laughs> so anyway, let's go to the world episode one movement section. Here we go. All right. So I'm just going to put these here. I have, I basically put these in the order already that they're going to appear in here to make this process as smooth and fast as possible. So up first we have the version A. So these are the two regular cards and then this is the limited card, right? Yes. This is the limited card. And I have you a song. So it was actually pretty easy trading and collecting this era. I don't know if it's because I like ho I hosted my own go this era. So I got a lot of the cards I needed from the go. And then, um, I don't know, I just, I felt like I didn't really need to do a lot of trading. Oh, this is crazy. It was also, like, I felt like it went by really quickly. Like, I felt like for Epilogue and Fever Part 3, it took, like, months for me to get all the cards I needed. Whereas this time around, it took me, like, one month. Just the month of August. <laughs> All right, this is version A. So we got diary. It was one card though, this Hongdu Limited. It took me a very long time to find a trade. I eventually found a trade with someone in Germany. So luckily, I found the card, but I was getting nervous for a little bit. <laughs> Diary is definitely my favorite version. I love these cards and I love this Yosong card. It is so good. And I love that we got so many photo cards with Hong Jun's Cruella hair. It was just the best hair. I love it so much. I also like that we got a few photo cards with Yo Songs like pale blue hair that he had dyed it. I feel like it was pale blue for all of like two weeks and then it was gone. <laughs> oh no. I also still have a lot of cards left over from goes from other pulls that I had so if you want to buy any please check my trades Instagram the link is in the description box down below all right so this is diary and C version I just I love this comeback the, the photo cards this comeback are so good I love them all right so now we're getting into the IDs. I'm kind of annoyed that they did IDs, <sighs> but am I really that shocked? No, <laughs> because it's KQ. They want the money. So 
just going A, Diary Z, just like I did for the other cards. Once again, the packaging for these albums are on the boring side, but I will definitely be making another video at the end of the year talking about my favorite and not so favorite album packaging. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. Orange is not my favorite color, but I feel like it is the unofficial AT's color. So just gotta suck it up. Okay, so then on this side, because they did the digipacks, <sighs> digipacks, the bane of my existence. I hate that K-pop companies are jumping on this digipack trend. I blame SM, it is their fault. <laughs> so um, I am doing a row of digipack, then the indie album versions, and then the bonus versions. Hello 82, bless their souls. They did so much for this comeback, but they also had like four different US versions of cards. So I was like, God damn it, I gotta get them all. Okay, so this is the Digivac Hongjun. And I don't know, I am like halfway to, not really, more than halfway to just collecting all the members' Digipacks and I just, I don't know if I should just do it or not. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the indie version. And then this is the bonus version. This is Yo Song's Digipack. I love this card. This is this indie version. And this is the bonus version. Oh, that's crooked. I'm gonna fix it later. Indie. At first I wasn't going to get the indie versions but then I found out that they were the diary versions and because the diary version is my favorite I want to get it. <laughs> Alright so we got the IDs and then we got Digipack Indie Bonus. Actually I'm going to fix that now it's bothering me. So then, this is my POBS page. So I did an Apple Music Go myself that I hosted, and then I joined two Go's for Everline and K-pop store. Oops. I think um, K-pop store is hollow, so I think I'm gonna put that in the middle, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So yeah, this is Apple Music. This is Everline, um, this is K-pop store, um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do it that way. Yeah, and then I actually don't have, um, Yo Song's Everline, or no. And no, K-pop store. I don't have this K-pop store yet one because my gom, she accidentally sent me San instead of Yo Song and I didn't catch it and she didn't catch it either. So I sent her back San and she is sending me Yo Song. So that will come soon in the mail. And... Hold on. It's crooked. And now we got Wooyoung. I wish the lighting on this was better because I love the cheek hearts. I think they're so adorable. Wooyoung's is just so dark on his face. 
wish he was standing in a different like direction where the sunlight was actually on his face. And then here is K-pop store. Yep, so just missing that Yosong, but I will get him shortly in the mail. So now I was debating if I wanted to put my OT8 sets in this section, but I have my OT8 sets separated, even though most of them are ND sets, but I just like having like OT8 in a separate section. So because I bought so many albums, um, I did end up having OT8 sets from Hello82 and what was it? Um, US, the US exclusive from Hello82 and the Hello82 Pop. So yeah, I remember like several videos ago when I was first reorganizing my ATs binder after I started collecting Wu Young, I was like, I probably won't collect as, as many this time because I'm collecting three members. Yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. All right, so this is the US exclusive. So yeah, I was getting so many Hello 82 albums, so I was like, I might as well just collect OT8 because why not? <laughs> I just didn't want to get, put them in the album section. And I love having OT8 sets. I honestly, I would collect OT8 if some members weren't such a hassle because people love to member price and it's really annoying. Um, so yeah. And once again, my consistent king, he is always, there's one album card where he's standing on the opposite side and I'm like, oh my God, that is like the Holy Grail Jungle card. <laughs> he's standing on the opposite side for once. Okay, oops. I'm kind of low key keeping some Jungle cards because I just always, I always pull him and I always have so many Jungle cards, so. I low-key just started putting the extra cards of his in a collect book. Shh, we're not going to say anything. I'm not officially collecting him. I'm just keeping any extra cards of his that I get. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> okay, so that was the US exclusive set. And now this is going to be the Hello82 Pob set. And this was this... Hello? <laughs> this was the set that had the crossword on the back. Okay, so freaking cute. So yeah, most of these, well actually, this Wu Young, if you watched my unboxing video, you know I pulled him six times, I think? Pulled this Wu Young so much, so I had some trading to do, but I think for the Hello 2 Pubs, I only had to trade for two cards. Like the pulling situation was pretty good pretty even. Like I traded for Hong Jun and I think I traded for a Yo Song one. So not bad. Oh come on. My biases were actually no, that's a lie. Hong Jun and Yo Song were eluding me. This comeback, I pulled a ton of Wu Young. I pulled, let's see, what other members did I pull? I pulled a lot of Mingi, and I feel like I pulled a good chunk of Sam too. I pulled almost like no Yunho. Yunho was a struggle. He was also evading me. Um, I pulled Jongho. I always pull Jongho, hence why I'm kind of low-key starting a mini Jongho collection, but we're not actually going to say that out loud. <laughs> I'm a Jongho magnet though, but it's okay because he's a Okay, so this was the Hello 82 Pops. 
Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so then now we're getting into the MD sets that I have. So I'm putting Wonderwall here because Wonderwall technically came out before the album and I try to keep this in chronological order from when like the MD sets came, were released. So I have an OT8 set of Wonderwall. So what I did for Wonderwall, if you didn't watch my unboxing video, I will explain now. I got basically all the different merch. And if you bought certain levels of the merch, you got an OT8 set, but I didn't do that. I just tried to get an OT8 set from the different items that I got. So these aren't all like, I have the t-shirt here, I have the um, crew neck, here's a crew neck, here's a t-shirt, here's the hoodie, here's, I think this was for the hoodie. Um, I try, I think this is a t-shirt. So yeah, I have like uh, variations from the different sets that they had because there was a total of 24 cards for this. But my goal was just to get one set. So here we are. So I think I pulled two Songhua and two Mingi. So I had to trade them, but again, it wasn't bad. It kind of took me a while to find um, Wu Yang. He was the only one that was being elusive for this. I finally found someone who who needed a Mingi that I had, and they traded for they traded Wu Yang to me. So that was nice. I think this is the only green hoodie one. Yeah, I feel like they're all on their neutrals. <laughs> I, I love this, the freckles. Okay. I just love how consistent he is. Never change, Zhang Ho, never change. Okay. Now, all right, that is my Wonderwall set. It is so cute. Oh my God, I love these cards so much. If I had an abundance of money, I probably would have just gotten everything so I could get all three OT8 sets, but alas, I do not. I had to ration myself, you know? All right, so now, Let's go here. So I am getting Hong Jin Yosong and Ha Gu Young's DVD sets. And then this is where the Fever Diary photo books will go. So yeah, that's that. I have secured these two um, in a buy order from the card of Japan. So those will come to me eventually. I'm very excited about it. Um, and yeah, my Fever Diary photo books are still at my proxy, so those will also eventually come to me. All right, so after this, I am going to put the birthday merch cards here. So right now, I only have Yo songs, but I do plan on buying all of the birthday merch this year. So I did buy some. And I did buy Mingi's. And yeah, so those will come to me slowly over the course of the next year. Yay. And that is it. All right. So I will end it here. All right. So that was it for this photo card sorting. Hopefully, it wasn't too long. It was pretty straightforward. I just had. A lot of ATs stuff to put away and still more ATs goodies to look forward to. I am doing a thing. I have bought some things from Mercari Japan and I'm looking forward to when those arrive. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Don't know when it's gonna be. 
I'm probably gonna post a vlog from my vacation at Yellowstone that I just came back from, so we can look forward to that if you want. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.